Hello and welcome to the unboxing of the Blood and Plunder. Raise the Black Kickstarter box that I got so many years ago. <laughs> I uh, I pledged on click Kickstarter so many years ago, I, I don't even remember what is really in here. I do remember that I paid uh, for the uh, role-playing thing. So I think they understood that even though this is a 28mm historical game, there is a lot of use uh, for these sorts of miniatures in role-playing games. I don't have hardly any pirate miniatures except for the couple of uh, Reaper miniatures that I have that are pirates. And I really like that. I like including uh, gunpowder or black powder or smoke powder in my D&D games. And certainly that also, uh, that also plays a big role in games like Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay 2nd Edition, which I really like as well. So having some uh, pirate miniatures with firearms uh, from this period of time actually fits in well with a lot of my role-playing games. So I'm very interested. Now, I was warned that they might have some stuff that is loose. Yep, yeah, so my note says specifically this is the role-player's pledge. Uh, I have the Pirates of Legends. I somewhat remember this. This is the uh, extra pack of famous pirates from Back in the Dead. We have Bonnet, the Gentleman Pirate. If you haven't watched uh, Internet Historian's Incognito Mode a video about the Gentleman Pirate, uh, we have Bonnie, Black Sam Bellamy. Yeah. Some of these uh, are a little bit a little bit obscure. Bart Roberts, I kind of remember him. But yeah, these are all historical figures, I believe. Uh, though, when it comes to the history of uh, pirateering and whatnot, it is very difficult. And what do we have here? Then we have the extra bits. We got a couple of bases here. We have some lovely sprues here. I don't... Oh, I think... I don't remember exactly what this is, but this looks like a bunch of sprues of downed pirates. Which I do remember now. That is pretty cool. These would be very useful. We have some monks as well. I don't remember any of this, but this is excellent stuff. I have little things here where it shows. We got a monk figure. We have a pirate. We have a downed pirate. Looks like we have four, or sorry two different downed pirates, and then a couple of just gesticulating pirates, which is nice. We have some, I believe that's... Anyways, uh, multi-parts, sprues, a lot of really nice stuff. So you get two sets of miniatures here, which is very nice. I, I really do enjoy the fact that they included the downed pirates and then we have the, and this is the shroop. Wow, okay, yeah, no, this is a multi-part sloop. Wow, wow, look at that. That is, that is much more detailed than I assumed. Dang. This, wow, okay, yeah, this is much more detailed than I assumed. Look at this. Every single one of these little bits. That is some excellent stuff there. So, wow, uh, I... Oh boy, they don't give you that many instructions, but um, I'm not exactly used to such multi-purse, but it's, it's, it seems uh, fairly straightforward. So this is just a sloop. So it's not that big, but that's good because, you know, I, I, I sometimes uh, I sometimes think uh, the uh, miniatures get out of hand in, in terms of scale. So this would be fun to have a bunch of PCs on a like a little rowboat or a raft or something like that and have the sloop come up 
and uh, they have to deal with that. Look at that. All right, well, this is much more... Uh, this is much more intense <laughs> than I thought it would be. Um, most models don't have this much detail. So that there is a project. That is a very intricate multi-part. So let's take a look here and see what we got. We got a nice little poster. Ooh. Look at that. We've got a nice old-fashioned map. Eighteenth century Americas. We got some... <laughs> I believe we have Edward Teach, aka Blackbeard, screaming as he tackles a dude. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that is Blackbeard right there with the bandolier of pistols and the menacing beard. He used to tie up cannon fuses in his beard to appear more imposing as he went into battle. So goes the story. So because we have a duplicate sprue, that means that we get two of that guy, so we can definitely showcase off uh, him. Let me get my little clippers here and I'll... So we'll do some size comparisons here. Right now. Yeah, so you can see this is closer to uh, true 28 millimeter. So it's not going to be perfectly in scale with my eclectic thing. 28 millimeter heroics are much more chunky. I don't, I don't quite know if this would be considered true 28 millimeter or not. But it is, they are going to be a little bit thinner than most of uh, the miniatures. Uh, if you want a uh, more direct comparison, here is Blackbeard compared to one of the pirates I got, I believe, from the Conan board game. So you can see... Yeah, it's just with the with the uh, more 28 millimeter heroic fantasy, where whatever you want to call it, they're a little bit more exaggerated, and they take up a lot more room. These uh, are clearly more uh, in scale for uh, board game stuff, you know. So they're not gonna have like the over exaggerated features or. Okay, oh that's one of the. Uh... One of the first miniatures I ever painted, this lovely drow duelist here. Some... An EM4 miniature. So there you have it. Obviously, uh, when I backed this, I must have been thinking primarily about the sloop and the little tokens and markers that would be much more useful for a D&D game. But hey, those other miniatures will fit in well enough with my collection. Uh, as everybody knows, my collection is made up of various sets from various lines that are all slightly different scaled. So some lovely historical pirate miniatures will fill in quite nicely during some uh, tabletop role-playing game uh, aquatic encounters on the ocean. So yeah, another Kickstarter campaign that went through during the severe issues with shipping, but they still managed to send out everything uh, eventually, which I think they need to be applauded for, because certainly there are other companies that did Kickstarters where they uh, did not do that. <laughs> But uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to be taking a look uh, later on at various other parts of my collection as I start to assemble stuff. If there's anything you want me to take a specific look at, let me know in the comments below.